Hi there YouTube, here's another vlogger with you. Today we are going to be taking a look to OpenSUSE 11.04 in its final release with a non desktop environment. This release has um, very interesting features. As you can see here, we have one of the lastest uh, versions of the kernel, uh, which is great because this new version has the kernel activity patch um, and the 200 lines um, kernel magic patch. And these two features um, have um, well give to the kernel a better um, performance also the system itself uh, seem to have a better performance about this also we have system D as new management system and that give us uh, faster boot, boot times and a lot of cool stuff we also have uh, better hardware support because of this kernel um, update and also the better hardware support comes with uh, the last shorthand MESA drivers because of this we are going to have um, a lot of good support for a lot of new graphic cards so that's great and well an interesting feature that I like uh, about that I like about OpenSUSE 11.04 is that they uh, implemented some kind of multitask x4 file system which is great because the multitasking uh, access to the hard disk um, was reserved for VTRFS but in OpenSUSE we have a version of x4 that has multitasking so that's great uh, they're looking into the future without being so ahead for giving um, an additive we also have the last um, desktop environment, uh, except for GNOME. GNOME is in, in one of the last uh, versions, but no, not in the shell yet, because the GNOME shell um, desktop or GNOME 3 desktop is not ready yet. But I believe in, a, in an update, we, well, well um, the open source community is going to, to have GNOME shell as an option. Um, all the software in the distribution is updated. We have some of the last versions of the software, as you can see here, with Firefox 4.0 beta 12, so that's great. And all kind of new, new software is here. An interesting uh, feature to talk about too is the implementation of. Office instead of Open Office, so that's great. <coughs> we have now um, LibreOffice in one official Linux distribution. I believe Open Source is the one. This is the first Linux distribution in giving us this, so that's great. Here you have it, Open Source 11, uh, Open Source 3, uh, Open Source 11.4 with LibreOffice 3.3.1. Sorry for that. I have some mistakes while talking. Funny. <laughs> um, we also have um, support for Grub2, which is great because Grub2 have a lot of, of cool features. I'm not talking about them in this video, but we have Grub2, which is great. <coughs> also, the open source developers were uh, concerned about the virtualization environment so we have now VirtualBox, VMware Workstation and Shen and QVM um, in the repositories uh, to install so we can work with a lot of different virtual machines solution, solutions in our distro um, finally uh, we have we have some some kind of interesting feature here that is called zip a new package manager <coughs> we have the option to the option to use it zip is a new package manager that let us um, download uh, various packages from different repositories at the same time so that's great uh, a lot of packages at the same at the same time is <coughs> is great um, the desktop as you can see is quite beautiful, quite clean. Um, a clean implementation of, of GNOME. It reminds me, reminds me, uh, Linux Mint because of of the Mint menu we have here. But but a, without without taking out the OpenSUSE 
part of the thing you know, with the logos and all kind of cool stuff. <coughs> the colors, you know. We do not have a lot of desktop backgrounds, and we're sorry for that, but well, yes, it's here. As always, making us the life easier. So that's great. Open source is one of my favorite distros because it gives a graphical content uh, for the final user for almost everything. So that's great for the new users that never used Linux before. And well, Open source is, is doing great. It's, it's, it's making making a change to, to the Linux world. So it's a great. And it's your, your favorite distribution. Um, do not doubt, download it, and enjoy it. Um, hope you guys like this video, and see you next time.